Alert! Hurricane is to hit Italy, Greece, and West Turkey this weekend. The whole of the Mediter Mediterranean area is on guard. Now, I live here, so I'm reporting what's happening. We've had very, very strong winds all week. Uh, the schools on the islands have been closed since Wednesday. And yesterday, Thursday, the schools in the Attica, Ath Greater Athens area have also been closed. No children are being sent to school until this thing is over and done with. We're having winds of about 12 before. All the ships have been tied to port. We have had some ships that have banged themselves on the ports and sunk. Uh, now, this is, of course, before the hurricane has been coming to our area. It's supposed to be coming tomorrow and on Sunday. It's not that much of a... It does happen once in a while in the Mediterranean, but it's very, very infrequent. This is a very powerful storm. Even airplanes have a problem landing and taking off. They cannot be small, they have to be big and strong. Now, this is still going on. It's called a Medicane, a Mediterranean hurricane, meaning a Medicane. It has similar qualities to regular hurricanes and even typhoons, and they've already caused flash flooding across northern Africa, mainly Tunisia and Libya over the past few days. And now it's moving north towards Europe, Italy, Greece, and moving along, it'll move along to the western part of Asia Minor in Turkey. The storm will cause the sea to pick up more tropical features normally associated with hurricanes, including gale force winds and even an eye of a hurricane in its center. The areas that will be hit mostly are Greece and Turkey, with heavy rains and very strong winds. The system is expected to move over the southernmost island of Greece being Crete and uh, southern Greece, the Peloponnese, tomorrow, Saturday. And then it will pick up speed heading into western Turkey again on Saturday. Slow moving storms heighten the risk of dangerous flooding. That means that uh, we'll have huge flooding, which we've had. We've had rain anyway the past few days, but this will be heavy rain caused in the, um, as was caused in the US earlier as Hurricane Harvey and Florence creeped to uh, the eastern coast of the United States. On Crete and other southern Greek islands, only four to six inches of rain could fall and lead to, of course, flash flooding. Other cities, like Kalamata, which is in the southern part of the Peloponnese in Greece, and uh, Smyrna in Turkey, could see two or three inches of rain. Fortunately, the Medicaid will likely get absorbed into the upper level jet stream and will not linger over southeastern Europe too long. And it will limit the amount of flooding because of this. Let's hope so. Only about one or two Medicanes occur every year. And uh, from what I know, they don't really occur over Greece. It's usually over between France and Italy that that takes place, not here in Greece. Now, according to a study in 2011, published by academics, researchers from the Institute of Coastal Research, that's what takes place, one or two a year. Although they're not this strong, this one is powerful. These powerful storms happen during September and October when the sea surface temperatures are warm and they can occur at any time of the year. So this is the time of year where we have, of course, as, as in the United States, the Eastern coast, the changing of the weather, and that's why they're taking place. And uh, I'll keep you updated on this. Now, the unfortunate thing with Greece is that with these high winds, we may have blackouts so people have to have their candles ready just in case they don't have power in their homes at least they'll have some candlelight <laughs>